Hi everyone, I wanted to let you know that now you can get 14 days free trial in my online studio where you can come in and check it out, try out some of the videos, the different programs and the journeys that we have going on. If you're interested, you can just click the link below in the description and that's it. Soma also is very excited as you can see. <laughs>
headache feeling that you feel after. So if that, it may not apply to you, but if it does, and it can be that you don't even realize it. You're like, oh yeah, that's a normal part of my back bends, but it's something like, like pinching, compressing. Um, and it's like a kind of a sharp feeling. If you're experiencing that, which I experienced for many years without even knowing, and I would have headaches after class all the time. Um, what I had to do was completely back out of my regular back bend practice until I could not feel that feeling. And I had to retrain the alignment of my feet and my legs and the engagement, how I was utilizing, um, like utilizing my feet more, utilizing my legs more, not just relying on the flexibility of my spine that could bend in half, but I would feel compression and have headaches. Um, in order to create more of a, um, like a unified activation. And that was for me, something in my mind that was hard to do because I was so adjusted. I was, I was so used to doing these like deep back bends so easily. Um, but the outcome of shifting my perception and my practice was awesome. Like now back bends feel amazing. They feel so good. They're yummy. Um, and I'm not experiencing headaches. So I didn't, I don't know if that relates to you at all, but I just thought I would throw that out there. Um, also your breath. So how is your breathing in your practice? And that of course is correlated with, are you pushing yourself too hard? Are you overexerting in any way? Um, Cause that can also be something that can increase the chances of us getting headaches. So as much as you can like stay in sync with your, stay in sync in being true to where you're at in the moment, which can mean that you, you might need to back off a little bit. Um, you might need to experiment with what that, what that feels like to back off a little bit in order to be able to breathe fully and deeply and not in a, uh, like you're riding down a, like a pot hill road, like, uh, <laughs> like sometimes it's, it's cool for the breath. It will become unstable sometimes in practice and it depends what kind of practice you're doing, but as much as you can try to keep it like even inhale, even exhale. It doesn't have to be a five count inhale and a five count exhale, but even inhale, even exhale, as much as you can breathe in and out of your nose um, and just start to observe, yeah, you're breathing. And if you're overexerting and your breath will, will tell you if you're overexerting because you won't be able to have those even breaths. Um, and of course, I kind of mentioned this before, but alignment is a big one. Um, and, and not all alignment is created for every body. So for example, um, like to reach your arms up to the sky in Utkatasana, like bring your arms by your ears, stick your arms to your ears kind of thing. Um, that, for example, that kind of cueing and that kind of alignment isn't necessarily that beneficial for everybody at every stage in their practice. So if it's something like that and you're doing a practice where that might be what you do, because you know that's what the pose should look like, consider in this example, like bending your elbows a little bit or cactusing your arms or just modifying a bit to take the pressure off of that particular position. Um, learning how to align in, in back bends from the ground up. Um, and any other posture where if you, you start to get a sense, okay, this one, I feel, get a headache, I, I feel a bit of a strain after this one, looking into the alignment. Um, or you can ask about the alignment here and we can do like a little alignment tutorial. Thank you.